Deze sensor is a B color LED. It's uh, connected to uh, ground green and red. And there is uh, a built-in resistor in there, R1. So we don't have to worry about resistance. This is on the Arduino website. And there somebody wrote a library for this sensor. And if you put this in the search box, you will easily find this page. And we can download the library. Click on version, the latest version. And click save. And it's downloading. We open the compiler. We go to sketch, include library, and add the zip library. We go to our download folder, find the, the folder we just downloaded, and open. And now it's uh, inside the compiler. Sketch, include library, and here it is. Click on it, and as you see, it's imported. So let's see what's inside a library. Just for this video, I copied the unzipped folder out of the download folder and put it on my desktop. It's a unzipped folder, so extract it, extract it, click on it. And we have this this one. So this is the same folder but it's uh, extracted uh, we click on it what's inside is a b color led folder click on it and you see we have keywords and examples uh, let's uh, click on examples we have a b color led example a blink example and a multi speed example uh, let's check this one out there is a code file in there click on it uh, how do i want to open it with the arduino EDI or you have more options if your Arduino is not showing up here click on more options and find your Arduino click on Arduino and it opens the compiler with the code it includes the library which was downloaded and over here it tells us to plug the pins into 4 and 5 so let's do that and remember there is a built-in resistor inside this module if you have only a b color led make sure you put some resistors on here i believe it's uh, 330 ohm uh, the green goes in the middle to five and the red goes in four change color red and uh, these things are all defined inside the library so we don't have to worry about it inside the setup it sets the led to flash red for 50 milliseconds every half second so it uh, sets the color and one means red as you can see over here on the uh, Arduino website so is one stands for red, two stands for green, and three stands for yellow. It set blink, it delays it for 450 milliseconds, and it and it gives power for 50 milliseconds. And altogether that's a half second. And inside the the loop, it it's clearing the the LED. If you read this, then you will understand it. Uh, another way to know what's inside the library is to, to read on the Arduino website or on the in descriptions. And they explain you almost every function. And that's the power of a library. You don't have to define it yourself. It's it's all set up by someone somebody else and you can use it. So let's look what's more inside the the B color led library. And that's a, a C file. 
to open this file you need a C++ compiler and if you are not uh, happy with uh, some functions you can modify them for example if you want to set the color yellow to number 5 you easily make 5 here and you can write your own functions and update the library even if you have no knowledge of the C++ language with a common sense and if you read carefully the instructions you find out how things are set up and it could be helpful to delete some variables or to modify some functions there is one more important file inside the library and that's a header file you have to open it with a, a C++ compiler and, and inside the, the header file there are all the variables and functions defined and the header file is the one you, you include inside your code and then you, the, your program knows all the, the variables and functions if you update your C++ code for example you write some you write a new function then and you compile it then it automatically generates a new header file so you don't have to worry about what's inside the header file 